Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own wooden texture in Photoshop and make it seamless. So let's get started. Go up to File, New, set it up with the same sides for with the same values for the both sides. I used 450 by 450 and Ctrl J on the keyboard to duplicate the layer, setting the colors black and white and go up to filter, noise, add noise 150 Gaussian monochromatic, ok up to filter, blur, motion blur, zero angle, 80 pixels, ok now we see we have this edged problem so we control T on the keyboard and holding alt on the keyboard and click and dragging and pressing enter on the keyboard C on the keyboard to select the crop tool, click and drag, enter, and here we have our wooden texture base. So now we add some color using hue saturation and colorize, and then just select the color you like. And then we can add another level adjustment layer, put it on top of hue saturation and by using these sliders you can make further adjustments to your color selection so this is pretty much what I want and then just selecting the first layer holding shift on the keyboard selecting the last layer and control E on the keyboard to merge it together now we are going to duplicate it control J and go up to filter, liquify and using the using this bloat tool set it up to 300 and just click a couple of times on your picture and then using this pucker tool and on 200 from size and just click it a couple of times on your picture now we can see we removed the linear view of these horizontal lines and we get this see-through that's why we duplicated this layer so when we click OK we just merge these two files the layers together and voila now this is pretty much it for creating your um, wooden texture to make it seamless, you just duplicate the layer by holding Ctrl J on the keyboard, going up to Filter, Other, Offset it, and make sure you type in half the values of your canvas size. So here we have 225 by 225, and click the Wrap Around tool, and this means the the image is uh, going to be offset by half the size upwards and to the side and the wrap around means that the upper side is going to continue on the lower side and the right side is going to continue on the left side clicking OK now we can see the horizontal seam is not a problem because we have almost horizontal lines here so the horizontal seam is not an issue we have an issue with this uh, vertical seam so we just go and select mask and gradient tool and select this uh, reflect gradient and make sure you have the reverse deselected and then just make sure you have black and white and click and drag holding shift on your keyboard that way you make first step then just merge them together selecting them both and clicking Control e on the keyboard now to see if the seams are still present now we can see we still have some light seam here so when we want to get rid of this vertical seam we just duplicate the layer again and filter offset and offset it again and clicking OK now we can see it's not present anymore because it's on the side but making sure that we don't see it at all 
you just make another mask and gradient tool and make it diverse and just click and drag on the center then just select both layers control E on your keyboard and you merge them together and now when we check filter other offset we can see it's the seam is not present here and it's not present here so we have the seamless wooden texture created in Photoshop in just few minutes. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something new and till next time.